Thank you. I'd like to bring in the Atmos CEO, Steph Disher. Welcome to CNBC. Thank you, Seema. It's an absolute pl pleasure to be here. Thank and, you for having me. And your stock just opened for trade. Uh, you've been a part of the Cummins umbrella for so long. So tell us why now you're looking to become a standalone company and the vision here. Yeah, we're really excited for the launch of Atmos today. Um, we've been working on this for some time. We see this is, gives us the opportunity to seek our growth opportunities beyond what we've had with incumbents. And um, why now is we're a, size, we're a size that's large enough to be able to stand alone as an independent company. Your filtration technology is used across so many different parts of the industrial world, construction, agriculture, uh, automation, uh, clients like John Deere, Volvo, among others. Uh, what role is Atmos trying to play as we see more industrials really push with this automation trend? Yeah, so we're a global leader in filtration solutions. We, we serve our customers all around the world. We have leading positions in the United States, India and China with our joint venture partners. We're a technology leader and we've got very strong partnerships with our customers. And we're looking to leverage that 65 years worth of strength and capability with a new company now poised to unlock profitable growth. How how reliable is this business during economic downturns? Is, is it cyclical at all or is it just um, you need filtration always? Well, you do need filtration always. We are about an 80% aftermarket business. So as we see the trends through the cycles, our aftermarket business is very resilient and a strong recurring revenue flow. We've talked to Cummins, I think, in recent weeks. And we, I remember we asked specifically about China and whether or not the reopening is, has matched expectations. Now there's some questions about European growth or at least German growth. How do you think about global growth ex-US and whether or not it's matching what we thought was going to happen this year? Yeah, so our global footprint around the world gives us a great diversification across many markets. Um, we saw China rebound very strongly back in 2020. Uh, we're seeing a softer recovery than that in China in the first quarter here, um, and we'll continue to monitor that as we go forward. The role of artificial intelligence, we're starting to see more industrial giants talk about it. What does it mean for the technology that you're specializing in? Does it change the type of product over the next five to seven years? Yeah, digital technology is a really important part of our future. We're committed to continuing to grow our business and focus on opportunities to grow. Finally, you know, inflationary backdrop right now starting to improve. But when you look at metal and steel prices, the dramatic pullback we've seen there, does that help your business or, or not so much? Yeah, so certainly we've had a challenging backdrop with inflationary pressures over the last couple of years. And we've been able to you know, pass those prices through to the market. We're watching and monitoring those costs and, and hope to see some moderation as we go forward. Looks like 80 percent of your stock is still being held by Cummins, even as a public company. A lot of the proceeds will be used towards uh, bringing down their debt. But what are you going to use the capital for as well at Atmos? Yeah, we've got a very bold aspiration to grow our business and being a leading global filtration solutions provider. We want to use our technology differentiation as an advantage to continue to win customers, not only in our current core markets, but beyond our current core markets into a broader industrial filtration focus. All right, with well, ticker ATMU up 10% uh, here in early trade. Steph, thank you for joining us. On thank set. you, Seema. Thank you for your time.